got Mr. Ben, I've got Larissa, Joshua, Christina, Jaden, Jackson, Siddharth, Almo, Julian, and who's that at the bottom? Oh, CJ! Hi, CJ. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. All right, here we go. Now, what are we doing today, Miss Cruz? It's science. <gasps> Who remembers the promise? Give me a thumbs up and give me a mute button. But do this on your on your lips. Say mute. Okay, good. Nice. Please remember that. Participate. You always do. I'm so glad I don't have to wake you up. And be respectful. That means treat others the way you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Be on time. Thank you. Stay muted. Include your name. Change your name in the chat or in the Zoom. Stay in your spot unless I tell you to get up and eyes on me. Now, oh, we all know that we had some fabulous birthdays. And I believe the next time we, we meet up, we'll see some April birthdays. Okay. So congratulations to London for her birthday month. And oops, someone else is coming in. And who is our weekly spotlight winners? Miss Ava, Mr. Joshua, and Miss Larissa. Fabulous job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work. What are we going to do today, Miss Cruz? Well, today we are going to observe, using our senses, the features of living things. So I can describe the similarities and the differences between plants and their offspring. Oh, I think all first grades doing this today. Yeah, I know I have it when I can explain how offspring resemble their parents. Yeah, whether they have the same traits or different traits, I can be able to, exp I should be able to explain those differences. To I can't talk. Differences or similarities. Here we go. Super science vocabulary. Offspring. Oh, give me five fingers if you remember that word offspring. Give me one finger. If you know similarities, you know that word. How about differences? Two fingers. How about three fingers for observe? Oh, how about two thumbs up for resemble means to look alike, resemble. Use that word. How about features? Uh, make a smile. Features. That's right. How about seeds? Sprinkle seeds. If you know that seeds come from plants, right? Okay, all right. And how about parents? Give me a heart. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Also, there's a bonus word, variations. That's a big word for a little kid, but doesn't mean you can't use it. Variations means little differences. All right. Oh, this is for next week. And let me explain what this is. So I'm going to text Ava and I think a Siddharth, yes, and they're going to choose two games for next week, like Ben and Omo did before break, remember? So Ava turned in some uh, of the challenge sheets, and so did Siddharth, so we'll do... I think Siddharth did it first. So we'll get let him go first, okay, Ava? Um, and so he can pick next Wednesday's game. And then Ava, you will get to pick Thursday's game. So hang tight. I don't know the games yet. I'll let you know. Now, let's jump into the Nearpod. The code is RQ. Oh, what? I can't read it. RQT27. RQT, RQT27. Oh, that's a tongue twister. All right. So join me on Nearpod. I'm going to stop sharing in just a moment and meet you over in the Nearpod game. And it's, it's a big one. And it's, I think there's a time to climb at the end. I put one in. Hopefully it works the way we want it to today. And we discussed what we are going to be learning about. We did already. We said that we are going to really dive down deep into the information that we need to know for this module. And I believe it's module nine uh, in science. And it talks about how uh, animals and plants and their offspring, they resemble each other. They have similar traits, but there's also some differences. Oh, we're going to learn so much. Okay, let me swing over there, guys. Oh. Let's see, let's see, Nearpod, I think I'm almost there. Oh, can you see it? Yay, oh, I'm so happy, thank you. Great, that, that's a good sign, that's a good sign. 
Okay, let's see how many friends are in. Remember the code, I type it in the chat and it will stay on my screen somewhere. I think right now it'll be at the top of the screen. Yep, there it is way up at the tippy top. RQT27. I have 14 friends in. Let's get started, Miss Cruz. You can join at any time. All right, I'm going to do a lot of talking. Remember, our whole group, Miss Cruz, does most of the talking until the end. If you do have any questions that are like, you know, like you have to answer them right away, raise your hand or type it in the chat, okay? Otherwise, stay out of the chat and let's learn some great things. There's a lot of stuff to do. So, Miss Cruz, let's move. How are animal babies? and animal plants like their parents. All right, let me go and move right into it. How much do you already know about adult animals and their babies? A, I know a lot, I've been studying. B, I know a little bit, I need a little more practice. And C, what are babies? Who are animals? What, what, what are parents? <laughs> Okay, how'd we do guys? Yes, oh, you do know a lot. That might mean that you're already ahead of me. That's fine. Okay, let's go on. Let's check the next slide. When you look at an adult and a young animal, how do you know which one is the parent? Come on, it's so crazy. Look at that, look at that silly question right oh but no questions are silly when you look at an adult so let's put you and your mom in the kitchen together how do i know which one's the parent <laughs> oh the size excellent ava I'll give you a little check mark and a heart who else Yes, size. I agree, Johnny. Beautiful. Oh, the adult is the biggest. I like that. Very good, Siddharth. Julian, how do I know that the that the um which one is the parent if I put two animals together? Yes, I agree, guys. Yep, size. That's a that's an excellent way to observe and tell which one is the parent. Let's move on. Good work, good work. If we didn't all have a chance to answer, it's okay. Because on the next slide, you will watch a video of a mother duck and her ducklings. As you watch, I want you to think about how the ducklings, ducklings are similar to their mother. Because afterwards, you're going to tell me the similarities between them. So here we go. Ooh. Oh, wait, I see some similarities, but I also see some differences. Oh, look at that. Hey, they, oh, I see some features, some traits. Okay. Does anybody need me to play it again? Or are you ready to tell me? You ready to tell me? Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go, Miss Cruz. I know you <laughs> ducks are so cute. Well, how do the baby ducklings look similar to their mother? Tell me that. They don't have mustaches. How did they look similar? They weren't wearing hats. The beak. Oh, Ava, you're on fire today. First one to answer. Nice job. Who else? Who else? They have feathers. Excellent, Siddharth. I noticed and observed that too. <gasps> Two feet and feathers, Addie. I agree. They did. They did. That's right. Mm. Let's see what. Oh, same color. I like that one. Nice. The baby ducklings are similar because they have the same color feathers. The colors and the beak. Excellent. They have black feet. Mmm. Interesting, Jaden. The beak. Oh, you guys are so good at observing. Miss Cruz. Uh-oh. Somebody unmuted. Okay. Hang on two seconds for me, guys.
Sorry, love bugs. Okay. Oh, you guys are amazing. Look at all these questions. Yeah, I see there are some differences too. Oh, look at the little ducks Ben found. Fabulous. Okay. Okay. Great job. Let's stop because you are very great at observing the similarities and some differences between the parent and the offspring. Let's work on our vocabulary. You know how important vocabulary is to me. So what do we have to do? We have to match up the term to the um, definition, or yeah, the definition. So let's read the terms. Traits, the big words, traits, offspring, parent, and reproduce. Now let's read the small print and match those up. Let's see, characteristics, babies. Oh, I can match up. What's the word for babies? Yeah. And then this one over here, adult animal that has babies. And the last one to make more like itself. Oh, <laughs> to make more babies. Okay. I get it. All right. So let's look and see if we can match up. Oh, you're so fast. Look at these answers come in. Excellent job guys. So, but by the way, these are the words I'm going to be looking for you to use in your responses. So should I hear the word babies? Hmm, probably not. What should I hear? Offspring. Mm -hmm. Should I hear the word, I don't know, um, things on your face? No, I should hear features or traits, right? So I should hear those words. How about parent? Yep. Instead of moms and dads, say parents. Okay, guys, here is, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Traits goes to characteristics. Offspring is babies. Uh, let's see, reproduce means to make more of itself. And a parent is an adult animal that has babies. Oh, so good. Here we go. Next part. Review the following slideshow to learn more about how offspring are similar to their parents. Okay, so I'm going to read this very quickly, and then you'll have some more jobs to do. Here we go. Similar traits. Most young offspring look similar to their parents. <gasps> yeah, you do too. They have the same body covering. If the parent has feathers, the young will probably have feathers too, right? If the parent has fur, the young or offspring will have some fur. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. And I'm wondering something right now about animals that don't look just like their parents when they're born. Hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there. They may have similar colors or patterns on their body. Similar, that's a key word, means that they're not, they are alike, but they're not identical. Okay. There's some differences. So most animal babies have the same number of legs as their parents. This horse and its baby both have four legs. Okay. We know that. Babies have the same body shape as its parent. The baby rhino has a horn. Look how cute it is. On the next slide, you will see a video of parents and their offspring. As you watch, think about how the baby is like its parent. Now, what we're going to be doing is observing traits. All right, guys, that's what we're going to be looking for. So I want you to use your best observational skills and look for similar traits and the offspring. Oh, oh. stop. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I saw a movie about that. Oh. <laughs> similar. I do see similar. It's not just cute to look at. I'm observing the similarities and some differences. <gasps> Wait, can we stop that one? Check that out. You can see his stripes underneath the, the offspring's fur. They just aren't pronounced yet as he grows. They will be pronounced. They will be Oh, wow. Oop, baby booped him on the nose. Did you see that? And look at the, the pattern. It's very similar. I think size, we talked about how we can tell the adult which one is the parent because of size. Oh my. 
All right. All right. So did you have a chance to notice, observe, and take note of the similarities between the parents and the offspring? Good, because now you're going to circle a trait that the adult elephant and the offspring both share. Hmm. Ooh, they both have. I see something they both have. I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would both have that until the offspring got older. Let's look and see how we're doing. Oh, they're both tails. Yes. Oh, trunks. I agree. How, how are we doing, guys? Um, oh, yeah, the ears. They both have long, floppy ears. Oh, somebody did find the tusks. Ben found the tusks too. Me, I was so surprised, Ben. I didn't think that the the offspring being so young that it would have tusks already. And it does. That's tusk, T-U-S-K. Awesome. Guys, you did a fabulous job. And I know some of your, um, some of your apps or the, the program's a little slow. So it's okay. I know that you're working. I just may not see your answer in time. They both have gray skin. <gasps> Ooh, they both have four feet. Excellent. Okay, okay. Miss Cruz, move on. Here we go. It is important to carefully observe animals and find similarities and differences. To observe means you must use your senses to gather information. <gasps> yes, that's what scientists do, right? That's what humans do. Review the slideshow up next to observe animals. As we read, we'll pay attention to how they're similar, but not exactly like each other. Okay, here we go. Animal offspring have the same shape as their parents, but they're smaller. Yeah, well, you know that. The polar bears have the same shape as their parent. C cute and cuddly, but a little scary. And the parent is much larger than the offspring. All right, we know that. <gasps> Look at the chickens. <laughs> How are they similar and different? Let's read. Sometimes offspring will have a different color of feathers or fur than its parent. Yes, we noticed that. These baby chicks have light yellow feathers. Remember the ducklings? They had different colors than the parent. And the parent has red feathers here. When the chicks get older, they will darken. They will have darker feathers like the parent. Okay, that was cool. How about the puppies? Let me read through this. Animals may also have different markings and patterns in their parents. When offspring are born, they have similar traits as their parents, but they're not identical. Variations. These puppies have the same parents, but they have different shades and markings. These puppies share some traits, but they also have different traits to make them special. On the next slide, you'll watch a video about animals and their offspring. As you watch, notice how the animal offspring is similar but not exactly like its parent. All right, here we go guys. We are a little over halfway from our presentation and closer to the time to climb. Animals and their offspring or babies have similar characteristics that they share. By just looking at animals, we can see the similarities between their parents and their babies. If we look at these penguins, we see that they are different colors, but their beaks are the same and their shape is the same. Here's a walrus and her pup. They have the same heads, the same body type, and the same coloring. We can also see that their flippers are similar. So These no penguins have are quite different, yet. but what is similar of them is their white chest. Here's a golden eagle with her chicks. Now her chicks are white, but if you look at their beaks and their eyes, they are very similar. Mm. Here's a bird and its babies, and they have the same coloring, and if you look closely, they have the same crest on top of their head. Here's a mountain goat and its kid. They look pretty much identical, except the kid's horns are smaller. And here is a mama and her fawn. Now they're similar, except that the baby has spots. 
How are you similar to your parents? Oh, that's a, such a great question. And when we do the DBA, I do ask you to tell me how you're the same or different from your parents. Now, let's observe the giraffes in the picture. Describe the ways that the offspring is similar and how it is different. Make the picture bigger. Oh my. You know, it's interesting. They're almost identical, but there are differences. <gasps> oh, I do see other there. We talked about size. Remember how Ava and Johnny and Siddharth, they like right away, they said that, um, that you can tell a parent because of its size. And a lot of you said that too. There's also something else I noticed and I can observe, even though they're, they look so similar. I do see a difference. I'm going to go ahead and write, type it in. The offspring, oops. The offspring colors are darker. Oh, wow. Let me submit it. Nope. All right, let's see. They both have long neck in the same pattern. I agree. Long neck in spots. Yes. Long neck in small shape. Mm -hmm. They both have a long neck. Very nice. Let's see. Anybody else? Both have dots. Ooh, very nice. Okay, 10 more seconds. Ooh, the offspring's color is darker. I noticed that too, CJ. Oh, an offspring is similar to their parent because they have the same pattern and long neck. Very nice, Johnny. All right. I agree. And our 10 seconds are up. So let's move on. If you didn't get a chance to answer, don't worry. You can do it when you practice on your own. Who wants to talk about frogs? <laughs> well, we're going to. While many animal babies look similar to their parents, there are animals in nature that are born and look very different. When a baby frog is born, it looks very different compared to an adult frog. Everybody make a little um, tadpole finger puppet. Go ahead. <laughs> There's your tadpole. It does not look anything like the adult frog, does it? On the next slide, you will watch a video that shows frogs do not look the same as adults when they are born. As you watch, think about what characteristics adult frogs. I'm not going to spend any more time on the frogs. I'm going to skip that slide because you already know that there are certain animals. Can you think of another one, another animal or insect that does not look like its parents when it is first born? Ooh, ooh, type it in the chat. Who wants to type it? Type it in the chat. Go type, type, type. Typey, typey, type. I can think of it. I can think of an, uh, of an insect that when it is first born or hatches, it doesn't look anything like its parent. Nothing. Let's see how we do. Typo. Oh, that's the one. Oh, Mo, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's right. <laughs> Very good, Ava. Excellent, Julian. So I'm reading a butterfly, a dragonfly, a moth. That's correct. They all start out like little worms or larvae. And then they turn, I'm scared of moths. Me too. All right, guys. Great job. So I'm just, I'm going to skip. I, I agree. Awesome job, guys. All right. I'm going to skip this one and we're going to draw a line. This is the fun one. We're getting so close to the time to climb. Almost ready. So what are we doing today, Miss Cruz? We are going to match up the parent with its, don't say baby, offspring. And yeah, it's, it's interesting. They, if you look carefully at it, at their features, at the traits, you can definitely tell which ones do match up, even though there's obviously some differences between the parent and the offspring. I mean, look at the bird, not even the same color, but what other animals walking around on two feet? <laughs> That's an interesting trait. 
So that's an easy way to be able to tell. All right, let's see how we did. Yep, perfect. Oh, very nice, guys. All right, let's take a quick poll. One finger, if your favorite animal on this screen is the, uh, what is that? Hold on. Orangutan. Okay, two fingers if your favorite animal on this screen is the flamingo. Three fingers if your favorite animal on the screen is the lamb or sheep. And four fingers if your favorite animal is the leopard. Oh, that's cool. Which one do you guys like? Cheetah. Oh, show me your fingers. It'd be four. It's a cheetah. Oh, it's a cheetah. Four fingers. Four fingers. Okay, cheetah. good job. Thank you. All right, love bugs, great job matching up the parent to the offspring. Are we getting close to the end? I think so. How do I know you've got this? Tell me something you learned about animals and their offspring. What is important to know? Something you learned. We're gonna be looking for everybody's answer. Teach me something that you think I need to know about animals and their offspring plants and their offspring. <gasps> Very nice. We can observe the color of their skin. Very good. Tadpoles don't look like their parents. Very nice. Oop, we lost somebody. Color of their skin. Very good. They look alike. Excellent job. Yeah, they can look alike. You're absolutely right. Oh, look at the example from Miss Addie. I agree. Look at that adult and its offspring. Very different colors, aren't they? But you can still tell they're related. Related means they come from the same family. Yes, dogs look alike. That's right. They have the same traits, but maybe there's some variation or differences. Okay, 10 more seconds. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, love bugs. Sorry, distracted for a moment. And oh, look at the look at the frog. Um. A life cycle. Nice work, guys. Oh, I can't keep up with all this. Too many hearts to give out. Wonderful job, guys. Plants don't feed the offspring. They make their own food. That's true. All right, loves, hold on tight. Out of 10 questions, how many do you think you would need to have correct to feel successful? Like you learned everything you need to learn about animals and their offspring. So I only put four options, no, three options up. A, six to seven answers right, I'll feel good. Um, I'll feel successful. Eight to nine or all 10. I need to get all 10 right to feel like I know this content and I'm gonna do great on my test. Okay, ready? Are you ready for time to climb? Let's do it. Okay, I can't wait to unmute at the end. We haven't had a chance to hear you at all. So here we go, time to climb. Let's go to the carnival. Ooh, let's try that. Choose your player. So 10 questions. This is going to review and prepare you for our module nine assessment and the DBA. Just kind of review everything we learned about animals and their offspring, plants and their offspring, the similarities, the differences, what we can observe, our vocabulary terms that we need to know. <laughs> Look at those chocolate chip cookie people. All right, five more seconds. Three, two, one. What's wrong, Siddharth? You can't get in? You want me to wait a few seconds? Yeah, I have a login. Okay, I'll wait a few more seconds, but you can join at any time, okay? He's in. All right, give him a few seconds. 
All right, in five, four, three, oh, 13 people in. Go. All right, Miss Cruz. How are these kids going to do? An animal and plant babies are called what? Cute offspring or adults? What are they called when they are babies? Oh, very nice. If you said offspring, you got it right. Excellent. All right, next question. Offspring. I'm going to call them babies, call them offspring. To be related. What does related mean? Does it mean come from the same family? True or false? To be related means from the same family. True or false? Ah, that would be true. related to someone, you're from the same family. Eyes, nose, ears, skin, hair color, are all examples of features, beauty, or senses. Eyes, nose, ears, skin, hair color, what are they examples of? A, features, B, beauty, or C, senses. Is your hair color a sense? Mm -mm. They're features or traits. All offspring look exactly like their parents when they're born. True or false? <laughs> That's right. If you said false, you got it right. Very nice. That's not true at all. Because we know we learned about the, the butterfly and the tadpole. They don't look exactly. Okay. Parents help their offspring survive by doing what? Sleeping, dancing, or feeding? Parents help their offspring survive by sleeping, dancing, or feeding. Johnny says not dancing. <laughs> That's right. They feed their, their offspring or put them in a place where they can get their food. Name a way your parents helped you survive. Did they feed you, keep you warm, take you to the doctor, or teach you about safety? <gasps> this is a trick question. It's a trick question. Yeah. Name a way your parents helped you survive. You could choose any one and you'd be right. They fed you, they kept you warm, they took you to the doctor, and they taught you about what's safe and what's not safe to do. I like those trick questions. Number seven. Four more questions. All living things have the same features. True or false? All living things have exactly the same features. Wait a minute. If that's if that's true, then you have fins and a trunk out and an elephant trunk. That can't be true. We don't all have the same features. Oh, what do plants start out as? Fruits, flowers, or seeds? What do plants start out as? Fruits? flowers or seeds oh yes oh, it's seeds isn't it all the new ones start out as from seeds um oh let even end. okay in the litter in a litter of puppies name a trait that may have some differences so think about a whole litter of puppies what might have differences fur color their collar or taste What? <laughs> I don't want to taste any puppy. Or they say, oh, their taste. Oh, oh I see. No, I don't know. Uh, if you said they might come out with their, their fur different colors, I agree. That's right. They have some differences in the color of their fur. Last question. Hold on tight. In a family, we may find some variations in traits. True or false? your own family might we find some variations in our traits true or false oh excellent everybody got that one right it's true we might find some differences Woohoo! we're all done 
Let's look at our leaders. Oh, you guys all got points. I'm proud of everybody. Look at that. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Done. We're finished. And let me close it out so I don't hear the music. Now, let me look at your cute faces. And we can unmute if you have any questions. We don't have any small groups today.